Hello everyone, welcome to Ink in Your Thinking. Today is a really great day here in the Netherlands and I thought it was the perfect kind of backdrop for wrapping up my one and a half month Victorian reads. So what I read for Victoria was uh, The Warden by Anthony Trollope, The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins, How to Be a Victorian by Ruth Goodman, and a couple of short stories by C.J. Perkis, The Experiences of the Female Detective Loveday Brooks. And although, of course, I wanted to read more, but I'm quite happy with my accomplishments, the, the Moonstone is quite a chunker and, and also because you're not used to the language you have to work a little bit harder it's easy to get burned out so I think I read the perfect amount I'm still enthusiastic about it and what this Victoria brought me is a long wish list of Victorian books I want to read in the future lots to look forward to How to be a Victorian was really like a time capsule it is very detail heavy. There were some sections where it slowed me down a little bit, but overall uh, the details were intriguing and made me realize how much I didn't know, which I always like. I thought I'd share a couple of examples so you get a feel for the book. Most people couldn't afford a uh, timepiece in the Victorian era, so you could hire a knocker upper who came by your house to wake you up in the morning. This is your wake-up call. At one point the cities grew larger and larger and the ground got so saturated with human waste that some basement dwellers even found it oozing through their walls. I'm so grateful for my toilet. It took a long time before women could join the sports as well because of a false belief of sports being dangerous for the female physique. It's amazing to think how a misconception limited so many lives for over a decade. I really enjoyed the inventiveness of people for staying warm, clean and healthy with limited resources. It was very interesting to read about the first education for the masses. This offered a lot of opportunities, but there was also a lot of abuse. Some stories were really devastating, to be honest, uh, but also very real. I love that she took the time to give us such a complete overview of what the Victorian era was like. The Warden was my first Anthony Trollope, and I really enjoyed getting acquainted with this writer. I read this on audio while painting uh, this nature painting. The characters were warm and interesting and I thought a dry humor really made up for the church politics. Like this quote of a overzealous character, he took such a high ground there was no getting on to it. I think most of us can agree with this quote, what on earth could be more luxurious than a sofa, a book? and a cup of coffee. It was fun to read about Love Day Brooks because she was the first female detective, I think. The mysteries were quite good, but I couldn't really connect to the characters, which made it a little bit less enjoyable to me. The Moonstone I really enjoyed from beginning to end. I really loved the format of the story told through several narrators. It was not as suspenseful as The Woman in White. But this one was full of humor and really lighthearted in tone. We had our breakfast. Whatever happens in the house, robbery or murder, it doesn't matter. You must have breakfast. The story of the evangelizing cousin went on a bit too long for my taste, but overall I really enjoyed the humor. It was also a bit of a book about books, like one of the characters always returning in hard times to Robinson Crusoe. You are not to take it, if you please, as the saying of an ignorant, ignorant man, when I express my opinion that such a book as Robinson Crusoe never was written and never will be written again. I have tried the book for years, generally in combination with a pipe of tobacco, and I have found it my friend in need in all necessities of this mortal life. High praise. Of course, now I want to read Robinson Crusoe. So these were my Victorian book reviews. 
and now I'm going to show you how the painting turned out. I hope you like it, I know I really enjoyed making it. The rest of the year uh, for me is all about non-fiction and lots and lots of mysteries, which I'm really looking forward to. I think those two genres are perfect when it's getting cold outside. And um, I don't know about you, but I think um, in terms of reading, this really is the best time of year. Happy reading and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.